Hi everyone. I thought I'd share my quick makeup for when I'm feeling under the weather. Okay enough to wear makeup, period, but not just not wanting to spend a lot of time, but I want to get a little bit of color into my face. Um, you know, the lack of eyelashes and, well, the invisible eyelashes and my face can get very pale, my lips can just like lose all color, and then I'll just have breakouts and so all you see is kind of like a whiteness with spots and it just can look really, really tired. And um, even just for myself, I prefer if I'm gonna see myself in the mirror, I feel like I'm going to feel a little bit better if I see myself looking a little bit better. Cause you know, it's just like if I'm at home with my son and I'm wearing pajamas, I just feel so sloppy and it just drags me down. So if I can put a little bit of makeup on to kind of perk up my face a little bit, it will make me feel a little bit better. But I don't wanna to spend too much time on it. And um, you know, if I'm like sick or something and I'm gonna to need to take a nap, I don't want it to be something that's gonna like <laughs> smear all over the place, that kind of thing. So let's just get started. I hope that this will be very fast. So I'm going to put on my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and we'll get a little closer here so you can see what I'm doing. And um, so if you, I'm gonna use a cream shadow and if you can use a cream shadow without it creasing, then that would make this even faster. But um, I can't, so. And since I need to use a primer, then it's fine for me to use a powder or a cream but today I just wanted to use a green shadow. So that's what I'm using. Um, so what I like to do for these kind of looks are something that's a little bit lighter than mid-tone just because I'm so fair. A mid-tone color is better if you have a little bit darker skin. So I'm gonna take this uh, color tattoo from Maybelline in Creamy Beige. It's kind of on the line of being a little bit too dark. The, the issue I have with using something that's a little darker is that it can make, um, when I pull it all the way in onto the inner corner, it could then make my eyes look really dark and can it actually kind of enhance that tired look. This one I feel like it has a little bit of shimmer, so it doesn't, it's not too bad. But a lot of taupes in general can be a little too dark, even if they have a good amount of shimmer in them. And I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 blending brush, like, what's it called? Yeah, blending brush. Um, this is just, I found so good at blending cream products. Better than my fingers by far, because with my fingers I always get it all over the place. I'm gonna put a little bit at my lower lash line. So I already have kind of a natural shadow down there anyway. So might as well enhance it a little. Okay. Just so that my I don't get a gap between kind of my eye shadow color and my mascara, I am going to tight line with this 24-7 uh, Urban Decay Pencil and Whiskey. And I'm going to really try to keep that just at the upper lash line and not get it on the waterline. You know, that's tricky. And I think I might just put a little bit also at my actual lash line. Just a little bit, not so much that. And then if my eyes are looking red, they aren't really today, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this anyway. It's the uh, Rimmel Scandalize liner in nude. This one lasts on my waterline really nicely. And it fades really evenly and I've tried using my Milani Shadow Eyes pencil in almond cream, but it's just so big I always end up getting it in my lashes. Um, I think I'll do eyebrows next. This is my Studio Gear Medium Ash Brow Definer. This is on my list of things to use up, and I've actually really been liking it. It's a really good color for the uh, color that I dye my brows to, um, because it's so ashy. 
And since I'm, um, oh, I must have a blemish there. That hurts. <laughs> um, since I'm dyeing my hair more brown tone instead of red, it kind of works with my hair color a little bit better too. Blend that out with a spoolie. Get the brown hairs all going the right way. I haven't trimmed them in a long time, so they're all cattywampus most of the time, hanging down at all weird directions. Um, I'm going to put on concealer next. This is my CoverGirl the Depuffer. It doesn't have a ton of pigmentation, but since I'm not going to use a lot of coverage on my skin either, um, you know, it'll all be kind of a similar level. But it kind of will brighten up under my eyes just enough to make me look a little bit more awake. Since I have a fair amount of blemishes going on, I'm going to try to do a little bit of spot concealing with my Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. If you have like a tinted moisturizer or BB cream or CC or whatever that gives you a little bit more coverage than what I'm using, then, um, you know, and depending on how you feel about spots, normally I don't really care, but since I have so many, I just want to kind of take these down a little bit before I put on my... Uh, base, which is going to be a powder. So I'm going to do this first. So I'm not doing this at a pre precise manner, obviously. I'm just trying to reduce a little bit of the redness and I'll just go ahead and take this around my nose too. I'm going to set my under eye concealer with my NARS uh, Light Reflecting Setting Powder Pressed. Um, this is so good at keeping this concealer from creasing. It works okay with other concealers, but something about this combination that it just doesn't crease on me. Only a teeny tiny bit. I believe next I'll go into my foundation. It's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in light. Um, oh, I didn't bring a brush for this. I know I was going to forget something. Be right back. All right. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Uh, powder brush for the MSF in. And this is just going to kind of even out my skin tone a little bit. And it has a really nice natural finish. It's not too matte, which I really like. And I have a video on my like light coverage foundation routine, but it's essentially what I'm doing right now. So <laughs> don't really need to watch it, but I'll link it if you're curious. I don't think that I did anything really different. And then just kind of pat in a little bit more around those areas I concealed. Try to get a little more coverage. I think in that, uh, video I did use um, the Real Techniques buffing brush. This brush might give a little bit more coverage. And I'm not going all the way under the eye eyes but just kind of around here where I have a lot of really dark freckles and so they tend not to, there can be a mismatch between my under eyes and my cheeks. Um, since this isn't taking too long I'm gonna use the Anastasia uh, Lash Genius. This is a waterproof top coat deluxe sample. Um, and I use this on my brows just because I don't have a clear brow set at the moment and this kind of keeps them from drooping unless I, you know, take a nap and then all bets are off. <laughs> this isn't too strong but it's the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer and it's in Reserve Your Cabana and I'm going to use my Japanese uh, blush brush and I find this gives a fair amount of sheen to it. I know um, Kristen Game uses this under her eyes to set her concealer. There's a brush hair. Um, but I really find it too shimmery to do that. Personally. That NARS Light Reflecting Powder does have some shine to it, but it's not, it's not like shimmer. Not shimmer like that. Blush. Um, NARS Gaiety Blush, which kind of gives that healthy, healthy flush back to the cheeks that maybe isn't there. <laughs> it's 
same brush. I think I'll just go ahead and put lipstick on. This is the Rimmel, uh, what formula is this? Lasting Finish in Airy Fairy. It's also something I'm trying to use up. Try to blot off some of my lip balm. So this is more of a pink, pink side of nude with a warm golden sheen. Okay. And finally, I'll put on some mascara. This is the uh, Cover, Cover Girl Lash Blast Clump Crusher, and this is the brown color. So that's it for my quick, quick, um, when I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, don't feel like putting on a lot of makeup or spending a lot of time or thinking much kind of makeup. Uh, let me know if you have any kind of favorite combinations for when you're not really feeling the makeup thing but do want to get a little bit on your face to kind of perk yourself up. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments and I always love hearing from you guys and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you soon.